Welcome to Allergy and Asthma Network's Patient Learning Pathways series. Today, we're going to look at ways to manage your asthma. With an asthma management plan and the right medication, you can live an active and healthy life. Let's look at some questions that people have about their asthma. Can I exercise? About one in 10 people have asthma symptoms after five to 10 minutes of exercise. It's best to warm up, cool down, and take your medications as directed before exercising with asthma. Pay attention to temperature, weather, and air quality. It's important to be physically active. So talk to your doctor before deciding to limit your exercise. How does pregnancy affect asthma? Asthma can be unpredictable for moms to be. Talk with your doctor. It's usually important to continue taking your asthma medications for you and your baby's health. How do I create an asthma healthy home? Say no to smoking. Prevent mold. Control pests and limit exposure to dust. Upgrade your air filter and keep your ducts clean. It's also important to keep pets out of the bedroom and either remove carpets for hardwood floors or clean carpets regularly. Put dust mite proof covers on mattresses and pillows and avoid strong odors in cleaning supplies. Smoking is a known asthma trigger and it's the second most cited cause of asthma flares. There is no amount of secondhand smoke that is okay for people with asthma. If you have asthma or someone in your household has asthma, it's important to quit smoking. There are five building blocks for better breathing. Number one, be an active member of your healthcare team. Number two, know your asthma triggers and how to avoid them. Number three, know your medications and how to use them. Number four, know your own body. Treat asthma flares early so they don't become severe. And number five, live a healthy lifestyle. Exercise, eat well, and get enough sleep. Join us for another Patient Learning Pathways presentation. Allergy and Asthma Network is working every day to end the needless death and suffering due to asthma, allergies, and related conditions through outreach, education, advocacy, and research.